There you guys. Uh, oh, let me take this off here. Does that sound pre-made? This is a little power supply. Uh, this little transformer will plug into. Well, in this instance, you can't see it, but it'll plug into the mains anyway. Um, I've got a special block fused connector block that's uh, I can just shut it into um, but, um, it's there and it's, it's got the light going on at the moment as soon as you lift that up it cuts the power and you can see inside there the fuse and such oh maybe it can't if it's on the other side uh, you can see that down the back there see the fuse yeah little neon light so you've got power I'll put it back down again there the other light comes on. Uh, stand it back up. Uh, what I wanted to show you was this little. Um, this is the first little power supply I built. Now, that's a lie, actually. The first power supply I built was a high voltage one, um, which is basically a flyback and a driver. But this is a little uh, nine volt regulated power supply. Uh, power comes in from the mains on the transformer here. It comes out, I've got two, uh, I think they're two seven volts or two eight volts, one coming off each side of the centre tap. Um, and the way I've been using it is to forget the centre tap and just go on there. So I've got like 14. Forget the centre tap. Um, and I've got the sort of 14 volts, both these together. And connect it onto each side here. Of this little bridge rectifier it then goes through this smoothing capacitor and then comes out the smoothing capacitor into the regulator it's uh, LM7809 and then I can I can tap onto it here and that's all well and good but I wanted to build a little power supply last night um, that will power you know my little Jacob's ladder there so I needed at least 15 volts um, and a few amps to do what that's doing at this moment in time. Just in case anybody wonders, you actually get a better deal out of this. I don't know if you can see my coils there. Um, I've taken off, as you can see with this one here, look, which I'm going to wind me in. I've taken off this. I've taken off of this because it would get really warm. I mean, it would get really warm that I couldn't just leave this thing running. I mean, this has been running for hours. Um, and it doesn't get warm. I can put my fingers around the back of there, and that's just, you know, slightly above room temperature. And the reason why that is, is because I've taken this off. I, I took this off, and it's made all the difference. And there it is there, look. as you can see. Uh, just in case anybody was wondering, you know, if that actually does make a difference when you take it off. It does. The only reason it's on here is to keep these two pieces together. Because I'm going to use this to wind my own turns around. But I want to do it so I can take these off and put them on nice and easily. Um, when I've done it, I'll just put some tape from here across here keep this together I want to put my my turns onto here seven aside or on this particular flyback uh, this one up here it's not uh, it's uh, six aside of the center top um, and you also get a better spark uh, or a, a better uh, this if you put a bit more capacitance on like there, I'll just press that on. It's a little bit. If I turn it off, you see, it doesn't like that particularly. Oh, can you actually see what I was doing? Probably can't. And if I put this one on as well, there you go. You can actually see that sort of heat up and get a bit warmer as I put that on. 
Anyway, back to the power supply thing. I was just jumping on. Um, no, I can't be wrong, I can Anyway, so there we go. So we got this little one, uh, the little transformer there. And we got this little, uh, this little uh, power supply here. It works, it's great. I've been powering up little amplifiers with it. Um, and it's great. But I need something a bit bigger to, to power that thing up there, so... So we're going for this. This one's a bit bigger. This is a... Uh, MIT transformer, as you can see. Put the AC, connect up the AC mains onto these. Doesn't matter which way around they go. I checked that there's no continuity between any of these terminals. And the case, so that's a very good idea to do that. And then I gave it, I think there's about 18 turns on here. 16, 17 turns maybe. I can't honestly remember exactly how much. I'm trying to count it. That's like three rows of six. That's like 18 turns. Yeah, give or take one. The cardboard's jammed in there just to keep it all nice and tight, and it doesn't really hum or anything. Uh, when it's pulling like four amps, you can hear it very slightly. You have to listen for it. You can't have anything else on the background, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, got a little bridge rectifier. This one's a. Uh, This one's in a, you know, just a chip basically. Two inputs and then the polarities, polarized outputs. Now I just chucked a couple of these capacitors on there just to, uh, just to uh, try and clean out some of the, the ripple off it. But I've not even uh, uh, checked it. I mean, I connected it to that little Jacobs ladder up there to that, um, you know, to that up there uh, yesterday, and it was fine. Absolutely fine. The only thing I did find was the um, the rectifier was getting warm, but there is a hole in it, so you can put it onto a heat sink, and I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I was going to consider taking this apart again and just using this length here as one side of the tap. And um, I found another length of this cable, but it's in brown. It was the other part of this that came out of it just a bit of normal flex from a vacuum cleaner, an old vacuum cleaner, it was irreparable or non-economical repair I should say, everything's repairable you know, but over it's economic to do that, yeah so there we go, just, just thought I'd share that, just very easy, I've been a bit, a bit reluctant to make this one because it's playing around with the mains, playing around 240 volts and uh, it can kill you obviously and you don't really want to you don't really want to do that you know <laughs> because it'll knacker up you doing your next project <laughs> but, but yeah so nice and simple it gives me uh, I'll tell you what it gives me it gives me 20 volts uh, it does drop down a bit when it's trying to pull like three and a half four amps it pulls down to about 13 14 volts um, I was getting AC 15 volts, by the time I've DC'd it I'm getting like 20 volts. Um, so it'd be nice to see what I'll get with a centre tap and then I can have a plus minus probably. That'd be pretty good. <coughs> I just thought I'd show you the uh, this little transformer here. Uh, let's, let's connect up to this uh, 240 volt fused. This is a uh, core. 20 years ago, I think it was. I bought that uh, just for something else. But anyway, so what I'm expecting to see is about like seven volts each side, so about about 14 volts on the meter. Still onto AC. Just 
put that down. And that gives me power output here. One stick one connected to there. One connected to there. And now the, I'm I'm putting my thumbs on the ends of this. I wouldn't you know normally do that with AC mains. I'm quite. I don't think it's scared. I just uh, I just respe I just respect the fact that it can kill my ass. I'm not ready for that just yet. But anyway, so as you can see, look on the meter there, uh, the top reading shows it's 50 hertz, and uh, and the bottom reading shows me 14.2 uh, volts. Uh, absolutely brilliant. And that's just ex exactly what I'd expect out of it. So now I'm just going to connect that into this little power supply. Like I say, it's a um, it's a nine volt regulated using the uh, LM70 78009 I just put that in there pop this well, I have to put it to the inside because I didn't leave myself enough sockets connect on that side uh, now switch this to DC put that down on there negative and positive output there we go 9.2 volts brilliant I know that's not with a that's without a load I don't actually have anything I can really put on just uh, straight away but if you look at my uh, little LM386 amplifier video that I built I'm using this to power it up with and it works just fine it works just fine lovely absolutely lovely uh, I'll put this one on in a, in a tick. If you just bear with me. Okay, so what I've done is I've just connected this up. Um, this side, of course, is polaritized. Uh, this is coming off um, once it's DC and it's polaritized. And what I've done is I've uh, I've sent that up to up to the Jacobs ladder. So in a second you're gonna to see this working. Um, so yeah, I've I've left these slightly exposed so I can I can put the, the meter on and we can have a look at the the voltage. Um, so yeah. And I've just connected this with these wires. It doesn't matter about the colour coding, but they come around the back here onto the connections here, which are live mains and must always be. Keep that in mind. That this is live mains, and it will give you, if nothing else, a very nasty shock. So uh, let's uh, let's let's flip the switch now. There you can see it there. I get a little bit of a blow, so we can just get it going in a second. It's uh oh. And you can't really hear. Let me just switch off that supply. You can hear a little bit of hum. A little bit of hum, but nothing. dips down 12 13 volts and if I disconnect the, the load we've got 20 volts on the output there we go doesn't get warm doesn't really make any great deal of noise or oh, there's actually, um, like I said, this rectifier does get warm. I mean, it's not warm now, but if I were to be running that, no, it's not warm now. But if I were to be running that, 
that Jacob's ladder for you know 15 minutes well, maybe not as long as 15 minutes but if I were in it 15 minutes this would get bloody hot and, and that needs to be um, kept an eye on I could probably um, if I had more capacitance um, on this circuit I could probably get more out of that Jacob's ladder circuit but, but there you go uh, shows them working and I don't see what else I can do with these these transformers. But cheers for watching guys. And yeah. These wires get very warm because they're long and they're thin and I'm trying to pull ampage through them. And these uh these wires are not really uh are not really designed for that, they're just little uh you know hook up leads for a lot lighter so just got to bear that in mind if you make stuff like this that yeah your wires uh, there's another reason why I won't get very good output on that Jacobs ladder it's because these wires are just not really capable of carrying that sort of ampage uh, they're just silly little hook up things I mean that's even thinner than this thing uh, that's terrible it's probably got like two strands twisted together and the strands being minute but anyway cheers for watching guys bye